Il Coco Ghost Story. Welcome to another terrifying episode of Our Ghosts Real. Today, we embark on a disturbing trip deep into the heart of ancient Spain to unravel the haunting tale of Il Coco, a ghost whose presence continues to send shivers down the spines of those who encounter it of both young and old. This is the tale of Il Coco, a malevolent creature that lurked in the darkest corners of the Iberian Peninsula preying upon the unsuspecting souls who dared to defy societal norms. The origins of Il Coco's story can be traced back to centuries ago, when Spain was a land steeped in superstition and folklore. In those days, the people believed in the existence of supernatural beings that could bring both blessings and curses. Il Coco was one such entity, a spectral shape-shifting figure that struck fear into the hearts of all who heard its name. The legend of the phantom evolved over time, as the fears and imaginations of the Spanish people shaped its form and characteristics. In some regions, it was described as a shadowy figure with piercing red eyes, long gnarled fingers, and a sinister smile that could freeze one's blood. In other areas, it took the shape of a monstrous creature, with claws as sharp as daggers and fangs that dripped with malevolence. But regardless of its physical appearance, the essence of Il Coco remained the same. A nocturnal predator that targeted disobedient children who dared to stray from the path of righteousness. Its very name was whispered in hushed tones by parents, who used it as a cautionary tale to keep their children in line. In the small villages and towns scattered across the Spanish countryside, the fear of the creature was palpable. Children were warned not to venture out alone after dark, for it was said that the monster's keen eyes could spot even the tiniest transgression. To disobey the rules meant to invite the wrath of this malevolent ghostly presence. As the sun set over the rolling hills of Spain, casting long shadows across the landscape, the legend came to life. Tales of its nocturnal prowling and chilling whispers spread like wildfire, igniting the imaginations of the young and striking fear into the hearts of the old. One such village where the evil spirit held sway was the sleepy hamlet of Valdeluna. Nestled amidst verdant meadows and embraced by the rugged mountains, Valdeluna was a place where time seemed to stand still. Here, the stories of the haunting creature were woven into the fabric of everyday life, passed down through generations like treasures of fear. Deep in the heart of Spain, a small village nestled amidst rolling hills and ancient oak trees. It was a place where the whispers of the past still echoed in the wind, and the legend held a firm grip on the minds of its inhabitants. Among the villagers was a young boy named Alejandro, whose inquisitive nature often led him to venture into forbidden territories. Despite the warnings of his parents and the tales of Il Coco's wrath, Alejandro couldn't resist the allure of the unknown. One moonlit night, as the village slumbered in the embrace of darkness, Alejandro found himself standing at the entrance of an old, decaying mansion. Its crumbling walls and broken windows seemed to summon him, as if inviting him into a mythical world beyond his wildest imagination. With anxiety and excitement intertwined, Alejandro stepped across the threshold, his heart pounding in his chest. The atmosphere inside the mansion was heavy with a sense of foreboding, and shadows danced along the crumbling wallpaper. As he ventured further into the mansion's depths, the sound of his footsteps echoed through the empty hallway. The silence was suffocating, broken only by the distant howl of an owl and the rustle of unseen creatures. Suddenly, Alejandro's gaze was drawn to a flickering candle in a nearby room. Its weak flame danced against the darkness, casting frightening shadows on the walls. Intrigued, he followed its faint glow, his curiosity overpowering his fear. The room he entered was a forgotten library, its shelves lined with old, dusty books that seemed to hold the secrets of centuries. Alejandro's fingers traced the spines, yearning to unlock the knowledge they held within their worn pages. As he pulled a weathered book from the shelf, the room seemed to come alive with soft whispers. Unfazed, Alejandro opened one of the books and began to read, immersing himself in stories of ancient rituals and forgotten spells. Little did Alejandro know that within those pages lay a hidden passage, a path that would lead him deeper into the realm of Il Coco. His thirst for knowledge had unknowingly awakened forces beyond his knowledge. With each word he read, the barrier between the ordinary and the supernatural grew thinner. Alejandro's heartbeat quickened, sensing the weight of the responsibility that now rested upon his inexperienced young shoulders. And as the last syllable left his lips, a chilling cold breeze swept through the room, extinguishing the candle's flame. In the suffocating darkness, Alejandro realized that he had opened a doorway from which there might be no return. Trembling but determined, Alejandro pressed forward, his journey now intertwined with the fate of the village and the ancient legend of Il Coco. The true test of his courage was yet to come, 
as he delved deeper into the heart of the supernatural, where nightmares and reality converged. As Alejandro delved deeper into the decaying mansion, the atmosphere grew more oppressive, and shadows seemed to close in around him. The air turned icy, and a sense of impending doom filled his every step. Whispers echoed through the empty hallways, growing louder with each passing moment. Suddenly, Alejandro found himself in a room that felt different from the rest, a room steeped in darkness and malevolence. The flickering candle he had followed led him to this ominous chamber, where an ancient ritual had once taken place. The remnants of forgotten spells adorned the walls. Mysterious white cloths were hanging against the walls and the air crackled with an otherworldly energy. As Alejandro stood in the center of the room, a chilling presence surrounded him. The shadows twisted and contorted, taking on grotesque shapes and forming the visage of the terrifying Il Coco himself. Alejandro's heart pounded in his chest as he realized the extent of the danger he had unwittingly unleashed. The scary spirit's eyes glowed with a sinister light, and its voice reverberated through the room, sending shivers down Alejandro's spine. The malevolent entity spoke in a haunting whisper, its words filled with menace and hunger. Little wanderer, you have ventured too far. I am the shadow that lurks beneath your bed, and finally now I come to claim your dreams. You shall become mine. Your soul will be trapped in this realm forever, just like those who have dared to challenge me. Fear gripped Alejandro, but deep within him, a flicker of courage ignited. He recalled the tales of El Coco, and how it preyed upon disobedient children. With a surge of determination, Alejandro mustered his strength and confronted the spectral presence before him. No! he shouted, his voice trembling but resolute. I will not become your prisoner. I am not a child to be frightened into submission. Release me! His words echoed through the chamber, challenging the very essence of the evil predator. The entity recoiled, its spectral form faltering for a moment. Alejandro seized this opportunity and quickly recited a protective chant he had stumbled upon in one of the books. By the light of courage and the strength within, I invoke this spell. Protection I begin. Il Coco, you shall not hold sway. My dreams are mine to keep. You cannot stay. As the final words left his lips, a blinding light erupted, banishing the darkness and dispelling Il Coco's presence. The room returned to its decrepit state, the flickering candle casting a feeble glow once again. Gasping for breath, Alejandro realized he had triumphed over the malevolent spirit. He had faced his deepest fears and emerged victorious. With newfound wisdom and respect for the supernatural, Alejandro hurriedly made his way out of the mansion, vowing never to trespass into such forbidden territories again. In the aftermath of his encounter, Alejandro's life took on a new path. He became an advocate for preserving ancient folklore and traditions, sharing his harrowing tale as a cautionary reminder of the dangers that lurk in the shadows. His bravery and resilience earned him the admiration and respect of the villagers, who regarded him as a hero. But the legend of Il Coco did not end with that single night of victory. Its presence lingered, woven into the very fabric of Spanish culture. In the years that followed, the tale of this specter spread beyond the borders of Valdeluna, seeping into the collective consciousness of the nation. The legend of Il Coco became a source of inspiration for Spanish writers and artists who sought to capture its essence in literature, paintings, and music. It became a metaphor for the deeper fears and anxieties that plagued society, an embodiment of the consequences of straying from the path of righteousness. In the modern era, Il Coco continues to hold a place in the hearts and minds of the Spanish people. Though many view it as a mere legend, a ghost story to be told around campfires, there are those who still harbor a lingering belief in its existence. Reports of encounters with the scary creature persist, whispered in hushed tones among friends and family. Psychologists and sociologists have delved into the psychological impact of the legend, seeking to understand its enduring power over the Spanish psyche. They explore the ways in which the fear of Il Coco shapes behaviors and attitudes, examining the line between myth and reality, and the deep-rooted influence of ancient legends on the human mind. As the sun sets over the rolling hills of Spain, casting long shadows across the land, the ghostly presence of Il Coco lingers in the collective imagination. It serves as a reminder of the power of fear and the enduring legacy of folklore. The spooky tale transcends time and borders, a testament to the universal human fascination with the supernatural and the unknown. And so, the legend of this ghost lives on, a ghost story etched into the annals of Spanish history. Its chilling whispers continue to echo through the centuries, a reminder that even in the modern age, the line between the tangible and the ethereal remains blurred. 
As long as there are fears to be faced and imaginations to be ignited, Il Coco will forever haunt the hearts and minds of those who dare to believe in the power of the supernatural. Send us your comments and join us next time for another spooky tale on Are Ghosts Real? where we unravel more frightening mysteries from the realms of the supernatural and beyond.